Well, I just learned from my cousin that she spent about two weeks learning about three bones in her med college. And my brain went, why not learn it all and flex on her, even though I'm doing engineering. So when I searched it up online, this came. Didn't quite understand anything. So I made my own version and put this gigantic topic in the form of a story. So you can also learn it with me. Here it goes. Once upon a time in the land of body spear, all the kingdoms were affected by a mysterious illness and only one knew how to cure them all. He began his journey at the top and worked his way down. First, he entered the kingdom of Skulltopia, ruled by the mighty Skull King. The 22 bones of the skull are not just protectors of the brain but also the keepers of our senses like giving us sight, smell, taste and hearing. A peculiar disease called the silence had fallen upon the kingdom. The bones designed to protect had become the victims themselves. Kai started his cure from the cranial province, which had six main heads. Frontal bone protects the front part of the brain and provides structural support for the face. Parietal bone protects the sides and top of the brain. Temporal bones protect the temporal lobes of the brain. Occipital bone protects the back part of the brain. Spinoid bone provides structural support for the skull. Ethmoid bone separates the nasal cavity from the brain, protecting the brain from potential infection. Moving on to the second and final province of Skulltopia, the facial province, which had eight main heads. Nasal bones provide support for the bridge of the nose. Maxilla supports the upper teeth. Zygomatic bones provide structural support for the face. Lacrimal bones protects the eyes. Palatine bones supports the art palate which separates the oral and nasal cavities. Inferior nasal conchi help to humidify and filter the inhaled air. Warmer separating the left and right nasal passages. Mandible supports the lower teeth and helps in the movements of the jaw. Journeying further into the kingdom of Ioid Armony, a place where one solitary bone resides, also called the singing bone. A disease called the stutter had befallen to this land, which was cured and its role of swallowing and vocalization was brought back to life. The path leads us to Altery Archipelago, a collection of six tiny islands. Here the muffled isle's illness had affected its ability to transmit sound clearly, but Kai found the cure and resumed its functions. These bones are the gatekeepers of sound much like a group of lighthouses guiding the ships through the waters. Malleus or Ammer transmits and amplifies the vibrations deeper into the ear. Incus or Anvil further amplifies and transfers the sound. Stapes or Stirrup transmits vibration to the cochlea of the inner ear which converts these sound vibrations into electrical signals which allow us to hear. Moving on, we enter the vertebral valley, a land having 26 vertebrae. The stiffening illness had caused rigidity and discomfort. Kai explores their secrets and overcomes the stiffening, and retains the bone's functions which is to help in mobility and guarding the spinal cord. First seven are called the cervical vertebrae. They protect the spine in the neck region and facilitate nodding, rotating and tilting of the head. Next well are the thoracic vertebrae. They provide support for the rib cage and protect vital organs in the chest area. Next five are the lumbar vertebrae. They support the lower back and allow for movements such as bending and lifting. Sacrum is a triangular bone formed by the fusion of five vertebrae. It transmits the weight of the upper body to the lower limbs. And finally, the coccyx, known as the tailbone, is a small triangular bone formed by the fusion which serves as an attachment point for various muscles and ligaments. Our journey further takes us to the rib realm where 24 bones create the rib cage. These bones serve as knights, safeguarding our heart and lungs. However, the constriction disease had weakened that protective role. Kai understands how to overcome it. True ribs protects the organs in the chest cavity and maintains the structural integrity. False ribs protecting the organs and gives additional support to the thoracic structure. Floating ribs, limited protective functions but are essential for the muscle attachment. Nestled within the rib realm is the sternum stronghold, a fortress that houses the sternum, similar to the grand gate guarding a castle. This lone bone plays a crucial role in protecting the heart and lungs. 
yet the weakness disorder had affected its strength and Kai overcame it with a jiff. Journeying onward, we transversed the pectoral planes, a land where the pectoral girdle of four bones lie. These bones are like the anchors of a bridge, supporting our upper limbs. However, the disconnection illness had disrupted the bridge. Kai plays his role of overcoming it. Scapula, a flat triangular bone, provides attachment points for the movements of the shoulder joint and a wide range of arm movements. Clavicle, S-shaped bone that connects the sternum to the scapula, creating a connection between the upper limb and the axial skeleton. Our journey finally continues to the limb lands, divided into two regions, upper limb and lower limb. In the upper limb, Kai explores the 60 bones that make our arms and hands. In the lower limb, another 60 bones that are the pillars of strength and motion, allowing us to walk, run and explore the world. But the withering ailment has taken hold, affecting their strength. As always, Kai saves the day by rescuing the limb lands. Upper limb Starting with the humerus, largest bone in the upper limb that helps move the arm and forearm. Radius Helps in rotation of the forearm. Ulna Helps control wrist and elbow movements. Carpals provides flexibility to wrist joints and a wide range of hand movements. Metacarpals provides the framework for the palm. Phalanges helps control movements in the fingers and the thumb. Lower limb Femur or the thigh bone, the longest and the strongest bone in the human body, plays a crucial role in weight bearing and transmitting forces from the hip to the lower leg. Patella or the kneecap protects and stabilizes the knee joint. Tibia supports the body's weight and plays a key role in transmitting forces from the femur to the ankle and foot. Fibula provides stability to the ankle joint. Tarsals they are the foot bones which contribute to the flexibility and stability of the foot. Metatarsals supports the weight of the body during activities such as standing and walking. There you have it, the incredible story that I created. Thanks for watching, follow for more videos.